So you're in your 50s, 60s, and you've been told you need to do some kind of resistance training, but you have no idea what that is. You don't know where to start. You've never lifted anything other than a kind of wooden spoon in your lifetime, or maybe a fork in the garden. And you've got visions of going doing bodybuilding down the gym. Chris, what does resistance training mean for someone who's done nothing at all? So resistance training is simply your the joint having to overcome resistance. And that's pretty much it. So let's look at the shoulder. Let's, <laughs> let's look at the Good shoulder. Example. So if I'm pushing my shoulder against something and this is applying resistance, use your hand, that's applying resistance and I'm getting resistance at the elbow and also at the shoulder. So that is resistance training. And all that you do in the gym, because you have different ways to measure resistance through the weights and then either the number and the stack of the machines or the weight on the bar or the dumbbells, is you increase the resistance or you reduce the resistance based on what you're trying to achieve. Resistance training could be something as simple as getting up and down out of a chair. Uh, resistance training could be pushing a heavy car door shut. So it doesn't need to necessarily look like you're there with some weight in a gym doing some exercise. Um, it's great to get some kind of um, program or routine going, but actually resistance training can be as simple as lifting your body weight off an object or off the floor. And your body responds to resistance training by the muscles getting stronger, sometimes often bigger and being more efficient. And this will result in what's called the, the tone people look for. All tone simply means is, is the body's or the muscle's readiness to move. So the more that you do resistance training, the more tone that muscle will exhibit and the more shape you'll have in that particular body part. And if those muscles are working better because you've trained them, it's going to help in terms of reducing your risk of injury. Perhaps if you fall, it's going to help you to, to not get injured or not get injured so badly. Also, it's going to help with your recovery.